Now we have that medical miracle. First here on GMA this morning, the groundbreaking new technology helping people with paralysis to email and text, not with their hands, but with their minds. Will Reeb has those details for us. Good morning, Will. Good morning, Robin. Beyond the physical struggle of paralysis, it's the loss of independence that can be the hardest to bear mentally and emotionally. But this morning, new hope for people living with paralysis, an attempt to regain that independence, take back control of their world using direct thought. It's like science fiction come to life. This man is working on a computer, but he's not using a mouse or a touch screen. He's using his mind. In a study released this morning, scientists have implanted two patients with a brain computer interface that allows people with paralysis to resume tasks like texting, emailing, and even banking online. I think it's best described like a Bluetooth out of the brain. This flexible metal coil is the key. Placed in a blood vessel in the brain, it takes electrical impulses from the motor cortex, which controls the muscles in our body, and in combination with a computer eye tracker, it wirelessly transmits the desired action to a computer. So our patients have been able to learn how to text message, to email, to use a word processor, to use the internet, and then to do critical tasks like shopping and banking online. 60-year-old Australian Philip O'Keefe is one of the first people to have the device implanted in his head. The father of two diagnosed with the neurodegenerative disease ALS in 2015 now has trouble controlling his fingers and elbows. I can't write with a pen anymore. Uh, if I try to type on a keyboard, it's, it's basically one hand, one finger at a very slow pace. Computer work was becoming difficult for him. But a few months after he received the implant in April, he sent his first email. Absolutely uh, mind blowing. And just think I could sit there and stare at a screen and think about hitting the send button and sending an email was just, it was, I, I really can't describe the sensation. Since then, he's felt much more independent. We're so excited about his mental well-being and, and um, his connection to the outside world. While the device needs more study and is not FDA approved, the results are promising. This is exciting because it's a minimally invasive way to record signals from the brain with very high fidelity and very high signal to noise. And, and that holds a lot of promise. As with any successful trial, this is a key first step. Enrolling patients in a US trial will be among the next steps towards what researchers believe could be an innovation that will help millions of people with paralysis around the world. George. Boy, fascinating and encouraging. Okay, well, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.